Hey guys, welcome to another viewer question. Uh, this one's from Cameronata. He had this question. Unfortunately, this is all the details I have to work with. So let's see how we go about answering this question. Uh, what we have is a person that's actually saving for a new phone, which is going to cost at most a thousand dollars. This person saves thirty in the first week. Wants to double the amount they save each week. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a little table here, uh, and I'm going to call this uh, N as the number of weeks and then uh, S for money saved. All right, so this could be the same thing as saying X and Y. So when it's one, the first week I've saved 15, no, $30. Second week is $60. Third week is 120. Uh, and I'm just gonna keep going anyway. All right, four is gonna be 240. Five is gonna be 480. All right, and then the sixth one, just from 960 it's gonna be um, but anyway looking at the question the question is actually asking first that the one that he has is that you got to write the equation uh, put this in the formula of y equals axn so what you can do is um, take two values all right when I say two values I'm saying let's take 1 and 30 um, hang on let's just get rid of that so we're gonna take 1 and 30 uh, let me just see if I can get rid of a different height different colors there 1 and 30 and then I'm going to take 2 and 60 so what I'm going to do is using 1 and 30 I'm going to come up with an equation and then 2 and 60 I'm going to come up with another equation and one more thing that's really really useful to kind of know is because um, I'm going to show you guys a couple of ways of doing this the first method is by substituting this into y equals axn so because we've got y equals axn and we know that this is xy and xy I'm going to actually end up with two equations so the first equation is going to be 30 equals a times x uh, to the power of 1 and then my second equation is going to be 60 equals a times x to the power of 2 okay so what I can do is for both of these equations I'm going to eliminate um, a so I'm going to rearrange this so that a would become 30 divided by x to the power of 1 is just x so it's going to be 30 over x uh, once I do that what I can do is I can substitute a because a is equal to 30 over x I can just substitute a here so it'll end up looking like this 60 is equal to 30 divided by x multiplied by x squared now what's going to happen is because x has got a power of 1 so x squared divided by x is just x so it's going to be 30 times x and then x is equal to 60 divided by 30 which means x is equal to 2 now you might be wondering did I really need to do that actually no you don't need to do that because if you're familiar with exponentials then you can actually have a look at your answers because it already says um, it is doubling everything is doubling uh, that basically means um, you can directly just replace x with whatever is happening here in terms of if it's doubling or halving or tripling or whatever it is okay so then our equation then uh, we still need to figure out what the a value is uh, and because we've actually done this that's why it kind of helps this because now we can actually say a is equal to 30 divided by x which means we can write it as a is 30 divided by 2 and then a is equal to 15 so therefore we can actually say the equation is y equals 15 x but we already know what x is, it's 2. So 15 times 2 to the power of n, where it actually gives the amount saved in the nth week. Now, in saying that, I'm just going to extend this question real quickly um, because I look, I'm looking at the question itself. You know how it says at most $1,000? So I'm probably guessing the next part of this question would be like, uh, which week would he have enough money to buy this phone? So what we're going to do is, you know how we have that original table um, where we have n and the amount of money saved. So we're going to write it all down. So 1, 2, 3, 4, uh, 5, and 6. So I'm just going to go up to 6. 30, 60, 120, 240, 480, 960. Now, um, it's very easy to get confused and actually say it's going to take them six, um, six weeks to actually... Um, get nine sixty dollars. Well, no, because you probably would go one more above it. So seven 
the seventh week where he actually ends up getting 1920 so some people might say because it's at most a thousand dollars that he would need to go till the seventh week it's a classic mistake people do and that's not um, that's not something that what's happening here because remember each week he's actually saving extra so that means uh, in the first week it's almost like we need to create another line to say what he's got in total so after first week he's got 30 after the second week he's actually got 90 because he's got 30 from the previous week so then I've got 90 plus 120 which is 210 210 plus 240 which is going to be 450 450 plus 480 is 930 um, and 930 plus 960 is 1890 so you can almost kind of assume if that question asks how many weeks did it actually take him to save uh, to buy the phone you can actually say it takes him till the end of the sixth week because after five weeks of saving he only has nine hundred and thirty dollars but after six weeks he's got a thousand eight hundred and ninety okay that's basically it for this uh, question here folks um, hope that and I, I hope I didn't ramble on too long but it's just trying to cover the different types of questions they could potentially ask all right, that's basically it. Uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and share this video and also subscribe to keep up with some of these new questions that are popping up. And keep an eye out for the live tutorials as well, folks. All right, thanks for watching, guys.